Well, it's a variety of the kind of cars we all love to own. The grand classics like the Packards and the old Cadillacs, Porsches, Corvettes, esoteric cars. Some cars people never see in their lifetime, and you can come out and see a bunch of them all in one place. getting our fashion show going here fairly shortly but before that I want to Lily Bossy were here earlier today city manager Jeff Colin and well, Greystone Mansion is one of our architectural treasures in the city. Uh, it dates back to the 20s, and so it feels very appropriate that you have classic cars from the era and afterwards that showcase uh, here, and, and the setting is wonderful. The setting, I think, makes this car show very special. Congratulations. Moving ahead to post-war American. No? There's not a lot of them on the road today. And considering that it's like 84, 85 years old, the restoration becomes tedious. And what makes it, I think, singularly significant is that it has a history of the beginning of the Depression. When many people were jumping off the buildings, the man that owned this car was jumping in his car. It has sentimental value because my father had similar cars when I was growing up in the 60s. And uh, I wanted to have something that we did together that I could do together with my daughter. And it's an iconic car beyond emotion. It's, uh, it's one of the best designed cars that was ever made. It was very advanced for its day when it came out. And it's a car you can drive today that uh, still keeps up with modern traffic, but it's classic enough that it's interesting. It is also an appre appreciation for many people, intellectual uh, interest in the beauty of the design, the sophistication and creativity of the engineering, and just the whole and the rarity of these things. Many of these cars are very, very limited. They were limited in production when they were new, they were expensive when they were new, and now they've become maybe analogous with classic art and other forms of classic collection.